Alrighty, you guys, so just show you quick what's going on. 34.74 amps coming in via solar. Batteries are sitting at 13.91 volts. And these are the two 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries wired in parallel, giving me 200 amp hours. And I have a lot of loads running and we're gonna try my uh, washing machine running off the inverter. So I got a heavy gauge extension cord long that I gotta run all the way on laundry day today to my washer, my baby washing machine, the Panda over here. Now I threw my towels in, my mats, and it is nasty. So what I wanna do now is set up the camera so you guys can enjoy. I'm gonna add laundry detergent and we're gonna fire this baby up. All right guys, so I'm gonna add a lot of laundry detergent. I have this stuff from the Dollar Tree. Um, Two-in-one fabric softener. Oh, fuck you. God damn it. Hit my head on the corner of that shelf. That is a cocksucker, man. I'm going heavy on this shit. And then I'm going to add on top. Oh, that hurt. Fuck you, man. That sucks. This is uh, also from the Dollar Tree. Fresh and clear powder laundry detergent. So let's try this sucker. I want this stuff really clean because it's been through the ringer. That's a shit ton of powder. Holy Christ. All right, I think that'll do. So what you do now is you load your stuff, you hook your hose on to the top here, and I got water here. So I gotta kind of hold this hose until the thing fills up. So what I'll do is I'll tilt the camera so you can somewhat see that process. So all I do for my water, it's right off the grid rain harvested water, and you can hear it going in. And I'm gonna move this goddamn shit out of here so I have room to roam. There, I jammed it on top of the PEX so I don't have to sit there holding it. So I jammed this flexible hose on there. You guys can see the water pissing in right there so this is gonna fill up to about I don't know uh, so this stuff's at least under the water and then we're gonna be good to go we're gonna wash it we're gonna dry it and I may even have to turn the stove on to dry this stuff out today it's the way it is so we'll see how long this takes and uh, go from there I'm gonna wash my hands at the same time so that will be sweet and yes this machine uses more water than uh, the conventional high efficiency ones but i have a lot of water storage all free from the from the mother nature rain cot on my setup so i think things are going to be sweet here um i'm going to put it on time lapse so you guys can see that quickly rather than sit here all day. All right guys, we're gonna shut the water off. We're pretty much full here. And I'm gonna go ahead and lift up if there are any more remaining water to get rid of it out of the line into the tub there perfect okay so that's pretty much I'm gonna push it down too so the soap kind of mixes in deeper and I got a towel right here there we go so we're ready to start it so now I got to close the lid and I'm gonna go full wash time I'm gonna do uh, heavy actually too. We're gonna go heavy. And I'm gonna crank it up to 15. 
and this side here is for the spinning. So let's go ahead and turn that on. I know it's kind of dirty up here. I'll have to wipe that down, but it's beating up. It's a washing machine, guys, come on. So it's all mixing in there, and it cycles like that all the time, guys. Here it come on and then shut off and come on. It's, it's just agitating everything. The mats, the towels. I got some other couple rags in there as well. So we're gonna go back and just so there, you know there's no trickery, that white cord is plugged into the heavy duty extension cord. And if you follow this yellow cord all the way down my tiny house, um, you get to see what kind of juice we're using. So every time it cycles, um, it's pulling almost 4 amps. It looks like 3.6, 3.7 at 120 volts, plus everything else that's on there. Now let's check the solar. Is it even doing a dent to my batteries? Not really, because I got 35 amps coming into the solar. So pretty sweet. And I got everything else running. My fridge, my charging station, entertainment station, other than the TV's not on. All these are charging as well. We'll go see how the laundry's making out. And man oh man, I'm off the grid. And uh, when I go into the drain cycle, guys, it's gonna help clean up my shower because it's pretty filthy and clean off my nasty mops which I will be using shortly, to also to help mop the floor up. So this is doing a good job. I just got it underneath the overflow fill line, which is good. Let's open the door after the cycle ends, just to see how dirty the water is. Black, black. Close the lid. Definitely needed a heavy wash sweet so this is going to run for 15 minutes 15 minute timer max and then the spin dryer i normally run um uh i run each item through at least a few times and then that way they're good to go now one thing i need to figure out guys is a dryer drying system it's a spin dryer however um I'm gonna have to turn my barrel stove into a dryer with some racking somehow. So if you guys can figure that out, um, that'd be great to help dry stuff out quicker. Um, eventually, if I do get the money someday, I will get a conventional high efficiency washing machine and dryer and get them in here. But for now, I'm, I'm stuck with what I got. Um, so yeah, let me know guys. Um, and my dad said also he was impressed with the system so far. He helped uh, helped me put it up on the roof there. Um, so thanks, Dad. And uh, he's he's he says he's kind of eager for me to get one more panel so I can max it out because I can have a max of three of those LG um, bifacial neons. All thanks to High Tech Guy 18 Stu who picked them out, told me about them, um, is impressed with them so far and should be very impressed with this uh, power coming into the tiny house. I am super impressed because, guys, look at this. Look at these numbers here. 36 amps coming into the batteries. What the F? Um, that is a signal to me that I can probably run that window air conditioner off the grid. And if that's the case, guess whose ass is gonna be in here more often? <laughs> right? Now, the only thing that I'm struggling with is uh, internet connection here so I can live stream and video for you guys here at the off-grid tiny house. So I think what I need to do uh, later on, I'm kind of investigating different unlimited data plans for Canada cell phones and when they say unlimited it's limited it's fixed so they'll have like 
10 gigs unlimited internet and then they throttle you after that so I may have to go that route and just limit my internet I don't know how much streaming and stuff uses so yeah and then uploading videos obviously is gonna take a huge chunk out of that so I may have to consider live streams here and maybe a little bit of entertainment and chatting with you guys on Facebook and what whatnot and on YouTube but uh, other than that uploading no I may have to do that at the parents house which really sucks but you guys in the US are extremely lucky you have unlimited data plans anywhere you go you can be off the grid have an unlimited data plan and that is sweet totally sweet guys so lucky there Canada doesn't have that we're getting screwed so I'm gonna just uh, stop talking let the washer do its thing it's about half done now and uh, let's check how black that water is oh yes still nasty and then I'll show you the spin dryer part and we'll go from there perfect see you later